Okay, welcome back to the channel, my people. So happy to have you here. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. I hope you saw yesterday's video. We finally got something new from the Dollar Tree Plus, dude. Unreal. E case after E case after E case after G case shipper with random nothing in them cars. We finally got to crack an H case, dude. It's pretty cool. The RX3 tune is nice. The purple passion is nice. It would have been awesome to see that Volvo Gasser soup. After seeing the main line and seeing how flat the paint was, I can only imagine how cool the super looks. In a recent video, we did the School of Chase with Auto World and Johnny Lightning. As you saw, there's so many different variants to those chase cars. Some of them are easily overlooked where others obviously stand out quite a bit. Today's school of diecast is related to Hot Wheels and the Honda Civic EG Premium casting. We just haven't seen that many of this car uh, in a premium version. Uh, I guess same for the EK other than the Boulevard EK. I can't think of another premium EK. Now, depending on your style and what you're into, you may have a difference of opinion. I'm going to tell you my opinion of the Honda Civic EGs that Hot Wheels has released, but you may have a different one and that's okay. Leave it in the comments. Let's get a conversation going. I know a lot of people are familiar with the yellow EG that comes in this box set. We're calling it the JDM box set. It may have a different name. I, I don't know. I don't see any. It's, you know, it's not like a Porsche box set or Porsche box set. But yeah, we're calling it the JDM box set. The first Nissan Sentra SER ever to be made as far as a casting in a premium is in this box. I think we have a two car set coming also with the Sentra SER, so that'll be pretty cool. Back to the EG. That is a legendary premium, okay? That yellow EG in this box set right here is a legendary premium that was first issued in 2019 in a Fast and Furious set, and I have it. Somewhere in this mess and pile of stuff are the rest of these cars. Nissan Silvia S15, the S14, the FD RX7, which is not Dom's FD, it's the other guys, whoever he was. And of course, the white WRX, very popular car. I, I would say that this is probably one of the coolest Fast and Furious sets. You get two Silvias, the FD, a really cool four-door WRX, and the yellow EG, dual overhead cam VTEC right on the side. Super, super nice car. This car was absolutely the most popular from the set. Yes, even more than the Silvias and the 240 or S14, the Honda Civic EG was absolutely the favorite of the set. The name of the set is Fast Tuners. And without opening the box, like how would we really know if they're the same? Uh, but obviously they are. There's, there's absolutely no difference. It has the same exact wheel. Uh, it's literally the Fast and Furious EG inside of the box set. Well, at first when I was planning this video, I was thinking I'll do them in order of popularity, but let's show the Honda Civic EG in the order that they were released. And then you can pick which one is your favorite. All right, so 2019, this bad boy came out and then Modern Classics dropped the Hello Kitty livery EG. It does have the same exact wheel, the replica of the Volk TE37. Uh, the other cars in the set are awesome. The S14 in white, the Mercedes looks cool. I would think that the Volkswagen's probably one of the least favorite, the two-door Subi. But again, the Honda Civic, dude. The modern classics Hello Kitty Civic EG was the absolute favorite from the set. This tends to happen out of all of these sets. Yeah, this is probably the grail cars for the Honda Civic EG. Modern classics Hello Kitty in the yellow Fast and Furious. Pretty sure this was a 2020 release, this modern classics wave. 
Uh, and I don't think it was Modern Classics 1. I think this is 2. Uh, but gosh, with all the Hot Wheels knowledge up in my brain, new stuff's coming in. Some of the old stuff's getting pushed right out. The Hot Wheels Boulevard Honda Civic EG Eibach livery. We're seeing a different wheel now, right? We're seeing that it has a little fatter of a tire. And I actually like the way this looks. It's a little more period correct, as you can see, with the fatter tire uh, over the TE37 with a little skinny tire that doesn't look bad or anything i just think that this looks a little more period correct with the bigger tire now there's something i noticed on these cars and i'm going to talk about it right now just with these three there's a mega door line that we can see on the fast and furious one where the boulevard and the hello kitty do not have that so i don't know if it's just because they were machined at different times. Maybe they changed the tooling. I don't know what is causing that difference, but there is no door line uh, really that visible uh, on the bottom two cars. Then we have another modern classics car. So pretty cool. First they did the Hello Kitty EG and you can see they're both number one of five. This is a real car in real life. So the Spoon Sports Honda Civic EG is a real race car that Spoon built and it's actually been wrecked a couple of times. Like some, some other cars have just ran this car right off the track or into the barrier. So there's been a lot of repairs pair done to this car or they've just changed the the whole chassis altogether uh, i don't really know but this is the spoon sports honda civic eg and i think it's probably my least favorite out of the bunch not that i don't like it it's incredible shout out to the toro brothers for sending me this car because i never even found one in a store like that's how quickly the eg gets grabbed even even now i mean the same thing happened back with the modern classics 2020 back in 2019 with a fast and furious so the spoon eg was our next release so these are all of the premium egs that i'm aware of if there's another one just leave it in the comments please let me know i gotta get it since i already have all these so again we're going back to the te37 just because it's a race car it's a real race car irl in real life uh, but we are seeing that this one doesn't have the door line. So again, I don't know what happened between 2019 and the rest of the lineup that the castings did not include the door line because it has the bumper lines. I see that is the same, same tail lights, right? Yeah, same tail lights, same exhaust, same base. Uh, I have looked at the bases. They all have the same copyright of 2019, which of course is when this first was made and of course being a honda kid right having the integras uh, the civics the crx's so many different acura honda models as a kid these cars really mean a lot to me i really enjoy having them as a die cast collectible after of course having so many of the real cars we had an eg we had an ek i had a da integra i had a dc integra a two-door i had type r motors i've had nitrous i mean i just had so many different combos of honda and acura cars over the years and they are so fun to drive there's just something about them they're super light super nimble it's a really fun car when modified to drive i did pull the newer mainline version of the eg which we did get this year the copyright is 2021 so there must be some type of change i would imagine between the premium casting and the main line no i guess not i guess not it looks like they did a much nicer headlight uh, of course the grill is outlined and the vents there is no tail light detail at all on the on the main line i mean it's just cut out so i i can't tell if they're the same casting or not between i'm gonna say not yeah, it looks like the, the wang on the back is a little bit different on the premium. I could be wrong. Leave it in the comments. Let me know what you think. I think they're, I think they're, I think they're a little different. Like you can see the wing comes straight out where the premium one sticks up a little bit, unless it's just a difference. And again, time over the years, tooling, machines change. Uh, they could be exactly the same, just having less detail, of course. 
on the main line and the plastic base but it does have a different copyright we're seeing 2019 on all the premiums where the main line says 2021 which is kind of weird when was the other eg like when did we have another eg in a mainline version leave it in the comments if you know i probably just forgot it's weird, it should be a, a newer copyright, I would think, but all good, very cool to see. I really hope you enjoyed today's video, a little walk down memory lane, checking out some of these old Honda Civic EGs. Everyone's all into the EK, uh, but the EG is what started it all as far as, as far as collecting your Hondas. Now, if you ask me what my favorite one is, I'm gonna go with Hello Kitty. There's just something cool about the Hello Kitty livery. Uh, and then of course, my second favorite would be the Fast and Furious, even though it's a close tie between the two. I had so much fun going around and hunting for the Fast and Furious model. Uh, and then I'll put the Boulevard next and then the Spoon version. But yeah, it's tricky. It's tricky between these two, I'm not sure. I guess I'll put Hello Kitty first, yeah. And then the F and F, even though Dude, that was a grail find until they reissued it again, of course, uh, in the Hello Kitty livery. Only the Boulevard one having the different wheel and tire. Yeah, thank you so much for watching today's video. That was your school of Honda Civic EG Hot Wheels Premium cars here with the Florida Bad. I am going live on Whatnot Collectibles tonight. I probably will start the show around 6 p.m. EST, so watch the noties. It's going to be a great time. And don't forget using my link, www.whatnot.com forward slash invite forward slash the Florida Man, you can get a free $15 to use in any live show or marketplace item. And if you've made your profile within the last 30 days, you can still take advantage of this link. You don't have to make your profile new. If you've made it within the last 30 days, go ahead, get the free $15. Come join our show tonight. It'll be super fun. We're doing an average of two to three shows a week right now. So definitely get that free 15 bucks. Come join a show. Have some fun with us. And I can't wait to see you in the next one.